Today, we're gonna do a quick video on how to get rid of ads and suggestions on the Echo Show and end up with a device that has a black screen with nothing but the time, temperature, and date, which is perfect for me at this point. And I know a lot of other people are gonna enjoy this too. As far as I know, this is the only way to get rid of the ads and all the junk on the screen. Now, if going with this is too minimal for you, stay tuned and I'll show you how to manage the content on your home screen instead. Before I show you, the reason why I'm making this video is that over the years, the Echo Shows have become really annoying with all the different uh, suggestions, screens, and helpful content, but in the past, Last year and a half, two years, Amazon Ads has started putting ads on the Echo Show. And now we're seeing sponsored content. It'll say sponsored in the corner. And you can't turn those off. Currently, Amazon's serving ads in Canada and the US, but I've heard from a channel member and some other users that they're seeing ads now in the UK. I did make a whole video on why I got rid of my Echo Shows and packed them up. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video and down in the description. But after learning this tip, I pulled out the Echo Show 8. I've been using this for the past week, and this is all I see, unless I make a request. When you make a request, then the screen wakes up, and I've had Amazon slip an ad in there, but after the screen completes your request, a couple minutes later, it goes back into this mode. Now the answer to get rid of these ads is to put it in night mode like I have here. To do that, you go under settings. Go to clock and photo settings, scroll down, click on night mode. Then you want to turn on night mode behavior. And from there, you're going to select scheduled. And you're going to want to do your scheduled time from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. So it's always in night mode. Even though it's in night mode, I can say, Alexa, what's the weather in Los Angeles? Currently in Los Angeles, California, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. With After asking it to go home, I see um, the screen for a moment and it'll scroll through a couple different pictures. Um, I don't see any home content on there because I turn all that stuff off. And there it just switched over back to night mode. And that's what we're gonna see until the next request. Now, if this is too much to just strip it down to a blacked out screen and time, temperature, and date, what you can do is manage the home content suggestions that Amazon has. All those different screens that flip through of different things you can do, they can be turned on and off under the home content settings. To get to it, you would go to your settings, then you select home content, and from here you just scroll through the different pages and pick the ones that you want. Now the frustrating part is Amazon's constantly creating new ones. So it's like whack-a-mole. You get them all and they're all gone, no more content, and then one pops up randomly. So you'll need to go in there and revisit this. Now if you just go and adjust your home content settings, you are gonna still see sponsored ads from Amazon. You can't turn those off. And you'll know it's one of those sponsored ads because it will say sponsored in the corner. Some company paid for that ad placement and you don't get to just flip the switch to uh, not see that ad. Instead, you trick it and put it in night mode. Now, another option that I've heard of that I haven't tried out yet is to put the Echo Show into a kid's mode. That way, there are no advertisements because Amazon can't advertise to kids. It just limits what you can do with the Echo at that point. No, no music with F-bombs dropping, none of that stuff. Um, no, but really it puts it as a kid's device. So that does change things a bit. That's why I like this better. I don't lose any functionality. I just get rid of stuff I don't need to see. This will work on different Echoes. On the little Echo Show 5, uh, the clock actually goes to red. I hope this helps you make your Echo Show a little less annoying for you. Now, if this did help you out, hit that like button, please and consider subscribing to check out the next video. Next, check out this video over here, why you might want to ditch these and go with HomePods instead. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.